Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video, we want to talk about the risk. Uh, what is risk? Uh, and of course, what is the relationship between risk and return? And as well as uh, what are different types of risk? So first of all, we have to define risk. What is risk? A simple definition is given for the risk. Risk is the possibility of loss. One definition. Risk is just the possibility of loss. Or the possibility of getting less than expected return. Right? So let us first explain the first part. Risk is the possibility of loss. Risk means chance of loss in the future. If it is possible to suffer loss in the future because of any reason, because of any reason, if it is possible to suffer loss in the future, that can be called as what? As risk. If it is not possible to suffer loss in the future, so it is called, in this case, there is no risk. As much as the, the chance of loss is more, risk is more. As much as the chance of loss is risk, less, risk is less. So simply, if someone asks you whether loss and risk is the same or not, you have to say no. Risk and loss is not the same. Risk just means chance of loss. Or risk simply means the possibility of loss in the future. If it is loss, so it is loss. Until it becomes loss, it is called risk. Right? So basically, risk is in between profit and loss. If it go on the right way, so or on the positive side, there will be a profit. But if it go on the wrong side, on that case, there is a <clears throat> there is a loss for the business. So risk is in between profit and loss. So neither profit, neither, of course, we can say loss. It is just the possibility of loss. Or we can say it is the possibility of getting less than expected return. Let us say, for example, I have invested somewhere. And I expect, for example, to make 1,000 profit out of it. How much I have expected? I have expected to make 1,000 profit out of it. If, if due to any reason, if due to any factor, right? If due to any problem, if it is possible to have profit less than 1,000, less than how much? Less than 1,000. I expect, for example, I expected to have 1,000 profit, but it is also possible due to several reasons to have a profit of 800, but not 1,000. So the possibility of getting less than expected return, this was the expected return, but the possibility of getting less than expected return, so 800 is definitely less than 1,000. So the possibility of getting less than expected return is also called what? Also called risk. If it is possible to have less than what you have expected, so this can be called as what? As risk. Right? In this graph, I have shown the relationship between risk and return. Right? So in this line, I have shown the expected return, but of course, in the uh, in the horizontal line, I have shown in the vertical it is it is return, and the horizontal it shows the risk. Right? See, basically, there is a direct relationship between risk and return. There is what? There is a direct relationship. Direct relationship between risk and... And direct relationship between risk and return. What do you mean by direct relationship? Direct relationship means if you... If risk is more, return is also more for, for a particular investment. As much as chance of risk is more... In this case, chance of profit is also more. So this is basically called direct relation, direct relation between risk and return. So when risk is more, return is also more. It means if you expect more profit, definitely you have to expect more risk as well. On the other side, if you expect less risk, right? If you expect less risk on that case, so there is a chance of less profit as well, right? Let us take example of gamblers. In the case of gambling, risk of uh, risk is more. So definitely profit is also more or return is also more, right? So both possibility is more. If it go on the wrong side, so definitely risk is more and of course you suffer loss. But if it go on the right side, it means uh, in this case, you make a huge amount of, we can say income or gain, right? So there is a direct relationship between risk and return. If you want more profit, you have to accept more risk. If you don't want more risk on that case, so you have to uh, accept less profit as well. 
This graph or this line basically uh, point out it several securities in the market which started from the less risk or zero risk and shows the maximum risk uh, for the security. The first security I have shown it treasury bill. <clears throat> you know what I mean by treasury bill? Treasury bills are the bill which are issued by the central bank on the behalf of the government when the government needs money or when there is a financial deficit so they may take loan from the market right and of course for that purpose they issue treasury bills t is stand for treasury and this is bill and these bills are not more than one year bill can be 91 days can be 182 days and can be 364 days right and it is issued by the central bank on the behalf of the government risk for this one is basically this is in this point this is in this point or let me show with the particular line here right see in this case basically this is in this point this point this point when you go of course risk is equal to zero risk is equal to it risk is equal to zero why risk is equal to zero because this is on this on the zero point itself risk start from here and goes to increase and increase this might be for example risk of this is risk of zero risk of five percentage risk of ten percentage so as much as you go on the right side risk increase and definitely as much as you go upper side return also increase right first of all risk of this one treasury bill in the case of treasury bill as we said risk is equal to zero in the case of treasury bill risk is equal to zero that is why it is called risk free security so risk of the bill is zero why it is zero because it is issued by the central bank on the behalf of the government so the chance of default is very less even in this case there is no chance of default and of course it is for less than one year definitely the government may not go for default right so that is why it is risk free security so as risk is zero return is also less for example return might be for example just five percentage how many percentage just five percentage plus if you go upper for example above that there is another security by the name of saving and deposit right saving and deposit what is saving and deposit saving and deposit is of course the uh, in this saving and fixed deposit when you deposit to the bank right in this case also risk is less but of course chance of profit is also less for example profit in this case might be 10 percentage how many percentage might be 10 percentage but risk also might be for example four percentage how many percentage four percentage so as much as you move upward a risk increase but return also increase the first one was risk was zero but the return was just five but if you go if you move upward right in this sequence so a risk is increased, a return also increased. In the case of government bond, for example, right? In the case of government bond, return might be 15 percentage, for example, right? But there is also a chance of risk. Risk might be, for example, 8 percentage, right? So as much as you move upward, a risk increase and return is increased. Risk increase, return increase. So as risk increase and return also increase, in this case, we can say there is a direct relationship between risk and return. Fail to reach to the maximum, to the to the peak point, and that is of course, for example, future. Future is also one of the security, right? Uh, and of course, you can uh, you can find out the future in forex market. You can find out in the commodity markets. You can find out in any market. This is one of the uh, way of hedging the risk. For example, return of this one might be for example 25 percentage for example for example even it might be more than that and risk also might be for example increase to 15 percentage for example right so as much as you move upward risk and return increase treasury bill is the bill which are issued by the central bank saving and deposit when you deposit to the banks and fixed deposit means for a specific time period see after fixed deposit there is another security you may ask a question that treasury bill is issued by the government and bond is also issued by the government why bonds has more risk as compared to as compared to saving deposit as well as as compared to treasury bill as we know bond is issued for more than one year right might be for example two years might be 10 up to 10 20 and so on so as a uh, period of the uh, 
The bond is uh, more or it is for more duration. A risk is increase. Why? Because even, for example, one government issued the bonds for a particular project and the second government may not be, uh, we can say, may not accept the, that project or even we can say uh, maybe they may reject that project. If this is so, there is a chance of default. Or as it is, uh, we can say length is more, so payment is in the future, future is uncertain. As much as you go toward future, the chance of uncertainty increase. As much as chance of uncertainty increase, chance of risk also increase. Then after that, you go for the corporation bonds, mutual fund, real estate, options, and so on. I'm not going to discuss all of this, but there's a sequence between, uh, between these securities. So as much as you move upward, risk increase and definitely return also increase. So this was a simple point regarding the risk. So once again, what is risk? The possibility of loss or the possibility of getting less than expected return. So there is a direct relationship between risk and return. So if you want more risk, so definitely you can have more return. If you want less risk, so definitely you have to accept less return.